Good afternoon, good evening, good morning. This is the Wix online meeting 191, running ourselves at the end of June of this wonderful year of 2020. As always, these meetings are recorded for those of you that aren't with us right here, right now. Uh, let's talk about what we're going to talk about. We're going to do triage like we always do. I expect that'll be short because we don't have that much to talk about. And then I want to take a little time to talk about Wix v4 status and actually set us up for the next meeting. And then we'll do questions, comments, and things that other people want to talk about here. But like always, let's go start with triage. Bob, you ready? I'm unmuted and ready. All right. One issue to look at, burn log element with prefix, which is one or two things or I don't know Sean you actually were responding to this and then someone whines about eight years ago and I put up the standard disclaimer of if the bug has been open that long it just means that nobody really cares about it and if you want it fixed you should go figure that but then you point out that there actually is a bug here um, so yeah we're setting the Wix bundle log variable with the path but that path can contain variables, or it can contain the square brackets. Ah. So if, if they tried to put a variable in there, then in the log, it's going to look like it worked, but it really didn't. Because <laughs> uh, the log file will resolve the variables, because that's what it does. Um, what's the fix here? When we set Wix bundle log, we need to say it's a literal string. Or ah. we support properties in the prefix. Right. Okay. Uh, where do you want to put it? I assume it doesn't put it. It'd be a one-line change. I don't know if you really care about it in three or not, but I don't because it's not hurting anything. It's just it's confusing. It's not you know it's hard to tell what's going on. But I'm trying to use a feature that isn't supported. Right. That looks like it might be working, but it's not. So yeah, four is fun. Okay. Um, all right. So we'll go there. And that's that. Sign the burn and off and away. Like I said, not a whole lot to talk about. And did you want it in 4X? Oh, 4X. There we go. All right. Very good. Oh, look, it actually updated. Oh, that's kind of cool. Oh, it feels like that doesn't happen right away. Um, and that's the end of triage. So let's go talk about uh, forward-looking stuff instead of backwards-looking stuff. All right. Wix for status. What are we doing? We are working our way towards what we declared, I think it was last meeting, uh, Wix 4.0 preview 0. Uh, this preview 0, as we discussed, is uh, focused on the command line. The idea being that um, we can get very early adopters, not everybody, to help kick the tires and find all of the um, silly bugs that we've missed or just scenarios that aren't tested or who knows what, just general feedback on how uh, the underlying system is working. So that means that the two commands that expect to work are uh, build and convert. Convert because, well, you need to bring your three code to four code and it would be great to start flushing out um, bugs in that area. And then build because, well, that's the only other command that we have left. Um, and at this point, you should be able to build um, MSIs, MSMs, uh, bundles. Um, you can try to build patches, uh, but you need to do more work to convert to the patch system. So um, I don't know if we're going to really push and say preview zero is a lot about patching. Um, really, it is about MSIs, MSMs, and oh, and Wix libs and uh, bundles. So basically, your your core scenario stuff. We want to just have people that are interested in um, the Wix tool set that are curious about how they can use this from the command line, the new way of you know, using it from the command line. Get those people in here and hopefully helping us flush out what I expect are a great many silly bugs that we just haven't tripped across yet. And I say that because uh, it's always happened that way <laughs> to me. Every time that I come out with a new release, I'm like, the story I keep telling is the Wix 2 release that came out and tons of Microsoft you know, um, people had used it, Wix 2 being the first one that's open source, put it out there and I'm like, Office and a whole bunch of other parts of Microsoft use Wix, there's probably very few bugs. And then I just got buried under bugs because it turns out there are a lot of things that Microsoft teams hadn't used and 
that needed to get flushed out. So I'm expecting the same behavior on preview zero. Uh, please, you know, you those of you that follow this are the pe perfect people to kind of jump onto it when we have it. Uh, when will we have Wix 4? Well, that's a fantastic question. Um, I'm not going to do this today because I think we need to, uh, I want to give Bob and Sean and anybody else that wants to kind of go through it uh, a chance to kind of go look through it. But uh, we have a bunch of 4.0 um, issues open, 180 in fact, which is a lot more than I thought there were. Um, which means we've been putting stuff in 4.0 saying, yeah, that'd probably be easy, or yeah, we should look at doing that, or yeah, let's just take that. And so I, I think we should go through and decide uh, for those that are assigned to, to people whether we really are taking this in um, 4.0. If not, let's put it in 4X. Um, and whatever is left, I'd like to say in two weeks when we get back together on the July 8th, that we would say, uh, let's go through and triage these. Um, assuming we don't get inundated with Wix 3 bugs, which if the last few weeks hold, we should. But in Chris fingers, knock on wood, all that kind of good stuff. So uh, we'll go through 4.0. I'd like to go through the 4.0 issues that we're going to take here so that we can then come up with some idea of um, where is preview zero. And that's not to say that we're going to take all those issues. A lot of those issues we may not take in preview zero. We're like, yeah, yeah, that doesn't have to be in preview zero. We'll get it later. Um, but that'll give us a good feel for, okay, here's what's in, uh, what we think is remaining, um, plus I will open up issues uh, in myself that I found that I think we need to discuss. We'll basically start filling up this 4.0 milestone with the goal of making it go down to zero, and when it reaches zero, that will be, hey, 4.0 should be able to be released public um, for everybody, not just in previews. Um, so. so one thing we've done with the 4.0 four milestone, though, is basically shoved in issues that we would not take in three because they're breaking or they're big or whatever. Um, so moving them to 4X might be the wrong thing to do. If we don't move them to 4X, then we're fixing them in 4 right? Or well, they'd have to go in the five. Later. Right. Oh, I didn't want to. I didn't want to say B five. I they see. Need to be I see. In a dot zero release because they're big or they're breaking or whatever. If we're not going to take them in four at all, then we should move them to a V five or V next or whatever. Okay. Um, um, I will. I will think about that. If you have any of those, flag. You know, just write them. Just track it. We'll talk about that in two weeks. That's a fantastic thing. I will be prepared. Uh, for we'll find them in triage. Yeah, and we will find them in triage. But if you guys look, you know, ahead at the ones that are assigned to you, um, then you'd be like, yeah, that one Wait. definitely is moving to the V next. We will, I will have a plan for whatever that is. Um, Wait, I'm getting homework. Uh, well, don't have. To. Yeah, I know. I was just no, I was thinking, um, you know, we could add milestones for various preview releases. We certainly so could. We certainly if could. if we want things that. That must, you know, must be in preview zero, must be in preview one, et cetera. Yes. Maybe. Maybe. Um, we, we could do that. Um, otherwise, we keep stuff in 4.0 that we plan to fix before 4.0 RTM. Yes. I want to kind of go through the triage and get a feel for how many of these we actually want in preview zero. My my yeah. gut tells me that we're just going to be like, yep, none of these need to be in, four, in uh, preview zero. Um, my right. quick pass was like, yeah, we'll just wait. I could be wrong, and you guys might have different answers. Anyway, so I didn't want to do that today because mostly I didn't prep anybody else. I thought I could go through them, and then I saw 180, and I went, oh, this is um, not exactly what I expected here. So two weeks, we will go through it and um, get a grapple on what is in four, and at the same time start, you know, really I think it will help us refine what is preview zero and how much is remaining that we want to um, accomplish there. For me, I've been trying to go through, and I, Sean made, uh, mentioned a similar sentiment um, in our conversation, is that we're trying to get all the big breaking changes in preview zero so that we don't go to preview zero and then have a whole lot of change if people adopt it, that you go from preview zero to preview one that, of things that we knew we were going to do. <laughs> that doesn't mean that there won't be a huge amount of breaking change from preview zero to preview one if we find things that we need to do, but my hope is that there won't be anything like, yeah, 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 we knew we were going to redo all of that after preview zero. I, I hope we don't have any of that. Um, 
but maybe we'll find something in this issue. So uh, that's that's my my thinking is that at least you know preview or preview zero should have what we expect 4.0's design will be, and then we will take feedback from preview zero like oh that design that we introduced in four did not work at all. We need a bigger breaking change. Well, then we'll have to do that anyway. We'll see. Um, one of the things that I uh, that we did not discuss um, beyond the fact that we needed to have some was which extensions should we make available in Preview Zero. Um, so I didn't know if people had like an immediate gut feeling of yes, definitely we should have this extension in for Preview Zero um, or not. Um, I think Util is probably in because it's going to end up being required by most other things after that. Um, I don't know if anybody else had anything. I want to have at least one extension. Um, that's why I think it's at least util. I don't know if people have feelings for other ones that should be in preview zero. Oh, I think NetFX is, I think, Val extension is probably oh, pretty yeah. crucial. <laughs> yeah, I don't, yeah, right. The ball extension, of course. We're going to have to have ball extension and then util. And um, I wouldn't, yeah, I, I could see NetFX being pretty easily argued for. People are going, oh, what are the other extensions? Yeah, I don't hear anybody arguing for like HTTP. <laughs> um, it's a nice little extension. Well I, mean, well, I mean, that should work, just like the VS extension should work. And Yeah, it's just how much work do we want to do to, you know, push previews and make them all available without having, yeah. So it, so it sounds like util ball, I totally just forgot about ball extension. So those two for sure, and net effect sounds like a pretty good one. Um, from there. Okay. Bob, you have any that you want to throw on that list that you're like, no, really, we should add? I waffle on UI extension. Oh, UI extension. Yeah. We probably should include it. Okay. But I believe that last report from Sean, it doesn't actually work. I see. And it just got massively broken in the last couple of days. <laughs> um, by whom? All that inner text stuff? Yeah, that's my oh, it's Rob's have, fault. Yeah, okay. it's all my fault. And I have to go through good, convert good. all of the existing code. That doesn't surprise me. Um, right. but that's a good one. I, I That one, you're right. We should probably have UI extension through there. So yeah, we'll go and fix that. Okay. Cool. All right. That actually is a pretty good list. That's going to um, provide a lot of interesting um, extension behavior, which is what I'm really hoping we can get out there. Um, so this one's more thinking from my point of view. I just want to run it out there. I think I'm seriously considering doing a 314 build at the same time of Preview Zero uh, to push more of the deprecations out there to make it Clear. So if people have a really hard time migrating to 4 for some reason, we could say, well, try the 314 build and see if that helps you get to 4 um, as a path. Any opinions on that, thoughts? You guys like, that nah, doesn't matter? No, I mean, you know, if it's low cost, we should definitely keep them up to date, especially as we do releases of 4 that are, you know, more than just, CI builds. Right. Like the inner text change, I have a set of notes that I'm like, all right, I want to take all of these things and put them in as deprecations in um, 314. And that was kind of like the one yeah. of the big ones. Where it's kind of where I tipped over the idea of going, oh, probably would be a good thing to help you know this is coming. If we could keep them in sync, that would probably be advantageous to you know, everybody. Yeah. Okay. Um, all right. So I'm going to kind of stick that in the, the back of my brain as something that I want to try to um, do it's just uh, the things to keep track of at the same time going how many of these um 40 180 issues are we going to take so um i think uh 20 at least 20 of those are bugs just assigned to you that are just like no reference exceptions they're yeah. probably fixed but I, I fixed a few of them in the last day or two so or just in my one pass so i i but I haven't gone through each of them and yeah, we'll see. 
All right. Um, so that's for status. Not a whole lot of yes, we're definitively on this timeline, those kind of things. But a um, yeah, it's getting there. If you get into the code, a lot of things are kind of working. But in the next uh, few weeks, um, we will start putting it together, I think, and getting a preview of zero. So it'll be yeah, just bring down the use the .NET tool to install Wix.exe and then do Wix convert on your source code and then compile it and see if that works. And those kinds of things. So it'll be um uh <laughs> it'd be kind of cool. It'd be like the first hey look it's starting to work. All right. So that's all I have for this week. Anything else you guys want to add on the four status? Bob, Sean? No? All no. right. Um so I I lost my slide for uh, comments and questions, so we'll go back to the beginning. Um, anything else people want to ask about, discuss uh, open issues on the world of the Wix tool set? No? Quiet? All right. All right, cool. So we ran a 20 minute meeting ish. That will work out pretty well. Um, that's all I have for this week then. In two weeks, we'll work our way through the 4.0 open issues, and that should help us get a pretty good idea of what's in Preview Zero and how much more work we want to have done for 4.0 Preview Zero before then turning on the the next round of completion and, may, and then dealing with the bugs that come in for Preview Zero. That will then determine if we do a Preview Zero dot one you know, just a refresh of it uh, because we found a whole bunch of bugs that are really bad or if we're on to a preview one, you know, where we start thinking about, you know, adding the MS build support and things like that. So um, that's all I have for this week. Bob, Sean, anything else? I'm good. All right. Do you think we're going to be able to get through all 180 in one week, in, in one meeting? One meeting. Um, do I think we can triage all 180 in one meeting? Um it is entirely possible we will not, but at a certain level, it'll turn into, are we taking this in preview zero or not? Um, and maybe we can get through 180, but you have a good point. It may be that we do it in two meetings um, to get through them all. Maybe. Because 90 is completely reasonable. Hmm? Hmm. I mean, we do, you think we can, do you think we can do like one page right now? Maybe? One, one page right now. Well, I didn't want to spring it on you guys without being uh, ready. And I have a big problem with my query right now that I can't get the thing sorted in any order. It doesn't seem to, I, I have an unstable order as I've been going through the um, milestones or the, the query I have. And I haven't spent the time to figure out what do I need to do to make this not, not, um, that's just easy as I see the numbers are all random. They're not in any order. I, I have no idea what order they return this to me. And there's nothing here that made it easy. There's probably... There's kind of two views. Like, there's this milestone view here. Uh, but you can also go to the issues and then hit the milestones there. Yep, there we go. And that should be a more stable yes. order. And then I want... Um, sort. Uh, oldest? Well, if you want to go fast, you probably want to go newest. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's true. All right, why not? Let's let's take a shot at some of these the newest ones, and um, I don't know exactly how we're going to tag them. Uh, we can ignore the whips because those are under development. Um, arm for burn. Okay. Is that a Preview zero. Like I don't know how we're gonna tag these. Um, um, you can set multiple mile. Oh wait, can you? No. no. Uh, um, I can add a you know v four point zero dash preview zero milestone. Yeah, I guess that's probably the way to do it. Is a v four dash preview zero milestone? Probably is the way to do it. Or a project. Yeah, I was thinking. I never of, actually. I haven't used them yet. Yeah, no, they're they're not set anywhere. 
Yes. That might be... Yeah, see, this is why I didn't do yeah. this yet. Because <laughs> I was going to go look at a couple of these options going, yeah, which way are we going to group these? Okay, well, I have didn't didn't get through it. Um, I tried to triage them myself and then gave up, and I haven't got into it. Um, well, let's just skim them. Would we take this? Is this planned for preview zero? I'm just wondering. We'll just go look at them real quick. Arm burn, 64 burn. I, I think that it wouldn't it'd be nice, but I think it has a lot of... Uh, um, implications. Okay. I mean, I don't know. I, I, Sean, you've you've made a lot of you've done a lot of work in like Volutil and Wix Standard BA to be ARM sixty four ready. Yeah, I still haven't gotten to where you can author it. <laughs> we mm, and that, okay. We kind of need to design that, and I think we also need to discuss what does it actually mean if you're asking for ARM sixty four burn. Like, should we block x86 MSI or x64 MSI packages if you do that? x64, yes, because there's no x64 emulation, but you could install an x86 package. So I guess, what exactly is added ARM64 burn going to be? Is it just building it or everything involved in that? I will answer your question by saying it sounds like this probably doesn't fit inside Preview Zero because it needs more, you know, design thinking. Yeah. Unless we think we can, you know, do do the design quickly. And it's not a, I mean, it wouldn't be a bad idea for us to do that. I'm kind of ambivalent. It's like if ARM64 is there or not there in Preview Zero. Well, I guess uh, yeah. we're not going to hit 180 in a day, are we? No. <laughs> so how do you, like, for preview zero to preview one, are you expecting a whole lot of changes? No, oh, sure. like, it instance, could be. No, no, it could be. Like this for, like, for standard BA, if you're using Wix standard BA today, and then it completely, and then we, let's say, I'm thinking about we might need to add a new element to use Wix standard BA. To use so it then, all. Yeah. Okay. So if we did that, then is that something you would I would I would want? rather see that in preview if you if you really think we need that, I'd rather see that in preview zero. Yeah. If we're so not sure kind of... we need it and we want to, you know, go out without it and see how it goes, well that's fine too, and we can add it later. This preview zero is really a look. We have a lot of Wix is very large, and we have a large amount of it working. So please go try and wander around and all that stuff that does work, and find the parts that don't work. And some of those will be surprises to us. I want to try to ferret out as many surprises as possible. That's the primary goal of it. But it's still okay to have breaking changes after that. There will be breaking changes after. There just will be. I, I mean, we've the, the it's previous was not even close to production. It's, it's not even. It's just, just look, try this out. There's a lot of stuff in here, and people like Jacob can like actually use it for the first time, right? And you know, knock around, and be like, hey, look, yeah, okay. And then I did this very simple thing, and it didn't work. Okay, well, thank you for finding that very simple thing. We will, you know. I just want yeah, to start so this that probably process. Not, probably not a preview zero then. Okay. Um, bundles with detached container duplicates. I must have, this is the, oh, this is the attached containers. Not working. Sean? Um, so is that, did we put in 4.0 because we were going to migrate it for him? I guess we're confused why that's in 4.0 because it's not breaking. Oh yeah, it's a bug. We can put it for X if you don't want to put it for O. I do not have a problem with that. Um, 
I mean, I, I'll probably do it eventually. <laughs> yeah, the question is, do you want to do it in the 4 time frame? Not in the preview 0 time frame. Or do you want to leave it here, and if we get to the end of 4 you might change your mind, like, ah, I've not got to it yet, I don't care. But that's kind of what it turns into. I, mean, I guess let's put in 4X. <laughs> okay. Uh, the display internal UI, I know you've made progress on. Uh, just the the UI extension work is the only remaining work there. Okay. Preview zero or if we want weak UI extension in preview zero, then it should probably that work should probably happen there. Yeah, that makes sense. So the, I think we have our first thing that we've marked as preview zero then. Uh, CI build, uh, yeah, this we will sort out. This is just an, a discussion we need to decide. Of, are we staying at VAR? Are we moving the things like that? And I've just tossed all that on that, you know, you, modernizing or, or whatever. <laughs> whatever we're doing with our CI build, decide on that and then standardize on 2019. Um, so we, this will be preview zero as well. Package not cached after bundle upgrade. I don't remember what that is. I gather we talked about it during the meeting. Investigate whether there should be a dependency registered when a bundle caches a package. Hmm, interesting. I mean, it doesn't sound like a preview zero thing. Definitely does not. Nope. Not even sure it'll survive 4.0. Exit dialog unexpected behavior. Long-standing issue that has bugged probably millions of end users. I have to admit, 10 years inflicting the launch application syndrome. My users, after considerable setup testing, on my part. Look, look at the version of Wix. Yeah, I already have Wix 2.0. Wow. Um, <laughs> are you putting this in 4x, or does anybody want to? This is yours, Bob. Like, yeah. Uh, let's move it to 4x, and I will look at it as part of the overall Wix UI extension org. That sounds fine to me. Um, separate new Git. The DTF is not, I'm not, I debated trying to put it in 4.0 and I decided I just didn't want to deal with the extra work. There was enough just in preview zero. Sorry, in preview zero, not 4.0. But yes, this needs to stay, but it's not preview zero right now. Um, DTF is not preview zero right now. Um, during cache of a compressed multi package package with multi disk bundle. Uh, okay. Brown should call set oh, oh, which might help with this. Okay. Uh, that's not preview zero for sure. Someone wants yeah. to take it before that's fine. Component installation path overflow, that's a DTF change, not in preview zero. Bundle doesn't detect earlier bundle upgrade code with different good styles. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, that's not preview zero. It's, not, it's a bug. It's not preview zero. Null reference. This, I think, is fixed. I just haven't tried yet. Um, accessibility. Pop-up text has... Pop-up window has same text. I'll, I'll take it. Again, as part of the overall Wix UI work. Mm -hmm. But payment but it is preview zero. It doesn't have to be preview zero. Definitely not. Um, this is preview. So are we, is anybody writing these down? I don't think we are. Um, I'm uh, sorry. I ended up tagging, creating, oh, sorry, a label. Oh, you are. Okay. I great. could not figure out how to make the project work and I didn't <laughs> want to. Yes, I understand. Um, this I want to try to slip in for preview zero. I already took a look at it. I just didn't get to it. It's not that hard. It's honestly more converter work than is anything else. But yeah, I want to try to get that in preview zero. Um, internet shortcut icon file actually not modularized and formatted by a merge module. Really? Okay. 
be a four mana field. Hmm. Okay. Not modularized and formatted when in a merge module. Okay. Uh, that's not right at all. <laughs> no, it's not an identifier. Um, okay. No, I think it is. What? Icon files and icon oh, file. It's, it's a, a file. It's a reference to a file. I think. But not if it can be formatted. Right. Never mind. So. Yeah. Okay. So. Not preview. That's not preview zero. It doesn't hold preview zero. Uh, default service install attribute not documented. No, that's not preview zero. Uh, <laughs> it mentions documentation. Nope. Well, it's actually yeah. Um, we need to talk about that, but not right here. 2017, 2019 with no workloads. Uh, we're, this is not. I'm not doing. This is going to four X. Should we have a boat of milestone? Uh, maybe. Let's, um, yeah, this this can go 4x, because, uh, yeah, it's, yeah. it's not, block. it's definitely not preview zero. Bundle installation process crashes in remote execution scenarios. Um, I think we have the fix for this somewhere. Uh, yeah, so we have the fix for this. This will come, this, this will already... not be preview zero, but we have a fix for this somewhere. Just have we to have a fix in 3.14. Yeah. Oh, and Sean is commenting. Yes. Yep. Yep. Uh, default back doesn't respect high contrast colors. Not preview zero, but be great. Cancel XC doesn't roll back package. That doesn't sound like preview zero. No. Uh, tag for binder isn't implemented. Right. Um, this will only be preview zero if we take the tag extension. Oh, uh, can't compile log string and never call them. That I think has to be preview zero. Um, so that's what's breaking the UI extension. Got it. Yeah, there we go. Well, there, not me. Nice. Um, suppress ISIS is broken. Yeah. ISIS in general are. Uh, ISIS are not enabled right now. Um, is that a preview zero feature? Yeah, that's a good question. I ask them occasionally. <sighs> the reason I'm hesitating is that validation, our build times are like incredible right now for, you know, reasonable size, for small and reasonable sized MSIs. They're just it's amazing. It's like it just builds and it's done. Um, even with cabbing. Um, but when we turn validation on, we're immediately going to turn into, you know, multiple seconds of time lost at the same time validation finds things. Um, and I've it's been like, Oh, I wish we had the icebreaker project just done kind of thing to replace the ices completely with C-sharp code that would presumably be insanely faster than the validation stuff. Well, I think this suppress ice is more, there's a bunch of command line options that Wix XE doesn't recognize today. So yes. it just breaks. Yep, it does not accept this, this command line option right now. And the whole, there's like, ignore all warnings, or there's some of those that just aren't implemented right now. Yeah, so I, it was on my list to create an item, a work item in here for myself to um, finish the command line handling, because the error messages on command line handling are essentially useless, and the help text is absent and things like that. So um, I have that work item to create before next week as well. Um, I think in general it'd be good if the switches were there even if they weren't implemented. So, like right now, ices don't work at all. But it'd be better if suppress ices switch worked 
even if it did nothing. For preview zero. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I I have to think about the ISIS being in preview zero more. I mean, just what are we doing there? Uh, dependency v4. Yeah, that's not ISIS. That's not that's not ISIS. That's not preview zero. Unless we don't um, need that one. Do we need it for bundles? No. Okay. Wix cop should ensure include elements have the four namespace. Uh, we should make that preview zero. If that's not there, it should be. Error message. Uh, I don't know. Your call, Bob. Yeah, sorry. Hold on. I'm sorry. Too many things. Well, yes, you're going very fast. Um, but also the screens are lagging. Also, we're past the first page in case. <laughs> I was going. I was going to the um, the forty-five minute mark. I guess for the meeting. Okay. Yeah. Waiting for Bob to. Sorry, what are you looking at? Uh, error message: missing entry section is confusing when using intermediate files. You oh, I, this. this is not preview zero. Okay. Um, Wix throws odd error when using equals equals operators. Yeah, okay. That doesn't have to be preview zero. Uh, this should be preview zero. I need to go back and review all of them, make sure that they're either resolved or something. Uh, otherwise, Wix four errors in MS build aren't zero padded. Fascinating. Um, okay. That doesn't are we going to fix? Are we going to take this? Right. Well, first of all, it's in this build, so it's not preview zero. Yes, it's not right. preview zero. And then should, should we, we take it? I don't know. We should probably be like everybody else. Okay. I've I've honestly never looked, so I'm kind of like I don't even know. What does everybody else do? Oh, zero yeah. padded. Okay. And th three is zero padded as well. So. All right. We we should probably zero padded then. Okay. Um, Give this one to me. This is probably fixed, but I need to go verify it. So this is preview zero. Let me go fix it. Uh, this is part of the 2019 CI build stuff, um, or at least can't you know will be resolved or <laughs> will be discussed and all that. Um, bundle launch elevated. Oh. Sorry, hold on. Is that are you saying that's preview zero? Yes, I think it should be with our yeah. build process. Okay. We should just get to the build process. Um, this is not preview zero, but this is an interesting bug to keep in four. Although yeah. it hasn't come up as much as I feared it would, or at least we're not getting people complaining about it as much as I feared it would. Um, strange, rich edit behavior and burn. That's not preview zero. I'll let yep. Sean decide if it's going to stay at all. Program files 6432 work with candle. Let's leave that preview zero for now. This one may fall out depending on how much other stuff I get. Um, Sorry, <laughs> what are you pointing at? 5835. Five. You can't, is my highlight not working? Or? No, it's the lag. It's the lag, it's lag. yes. Yeah. Okay. 5835. Should program file 6432 folder work with candle? Yeah. Um, the actions, essentially what's happening here is this is, you know, switching before 3264, but that's interesting. Also, there's the fallback, the actions code, where you get actions in your MSI, even if if you didn't reference them, like it automatically adds that code. I've been through it now, um, very recently again, and it's pretty straightforward. So I'm back to thinking, can I do the same thing for standard um, directories as well in the same way? So you don't have to define program files folder. It'll just give you one if you referenced it. Anyway, this is not that, but it's in that same space. Anyway, okay. elevated bundle layout generates without user permissions. That's not preview Sorry. zero. Sorry. Um, three. Five eight three five. Five eight. No. Five eight three five. Preview zero. It's it's preview zero. Yes, because okay. there's another one that I want to try to get in if I can, but it's okay. one of the first ones that'll fall out of preview zero. Um, 
elevated bundles, not preview zero. Wix quite as that incorrectly assumes Unicode output if reading the first if first read as a single byte. Fascinating. Okay. Wix tool set does not install into Wix MS Build 2017 folder. That's correct, but that's not that's not preview zero. Summary information code page not set via Wix localization element. Everything's we've now standardized on code page 65 on, on UTF-8 now. I wonder if this is still a problem. Let's leave that in preview zero and we'll see where it goes. It's actually the, the UTF-8 build MSI's, the fact that we default the code page there, I'm curious to see how that um, works out in the real world. System folder does not resolve custom action directories attribute unless explicitly defined in the directory. Yeah, this is the one I was talking about where I want to try to bring in the, the built-in folders. So this is preview zero as well, along with 5835, but could fall out. With standard BA capitalization, string capitalization. Someone's complaining about the capital inconsistent capitalization. Definitely not preview zero. Yeah. Local user created by MSI package is absent after major upgrade if removes this. Okay, not preview zero. Build burn with uh, control guard. Oh, this will be 4.0. You can give this one to me because I have this. It's, yeah, it's probably already familiar. fixed. Is it? I think. I think it's already fixed, yeah. It's not. It's not. I don't think it is. Um, I think it's, sorry, I think it's fixed in 3.14. Maybe. Um, um, yeah. it's, it's in Fire Giant build. Yeah, it's in a Fire Giant build, I know for sure. Uh, we'll, we'll get this. It's not a preview zero thing, but we'll, that will come. Suppress hard linking. Ah, this thing again. It's not preview zero. Unable to cast transparent proxy type to Wix extension value. What? Oh, this is... What? Oh. What? What? Weird. Um, not preview zero, but that leave that around. I have to go. I was like, what? It's because Visual Studio interaction. Unable to build when referencing multi-targeting project. Yeah, that's MS build. We're not there. Bundle not registered in ARP during install. If bundle already cached. That's not preview zero. Wix standard bootstrap application shows repairs. That's not preview zero. Localized build for Kazakh not working. Why? UTF-8. So this should be preview zero. So I th that. Um, Wix 4 should automatically set MSI DB files. Yeah, true, true. Yeah, we need to talk about whether that should be true or not. Um, let's put this in preview zero to have that conversation flush that out. Are you talking about five six five nine? Five six five nine. Wix four should automatically set checksum for PE files and then Okay. And decide what, although it doesn't have to be in it's not preview zero, sorry. I, which whatever. We need to talk about it. It doesn't have to be preview zero, it's just not gonna change anything. Um all right there you go. Two pages Sean. <laughs> in, in, Total meeting time of about 46 minutes. All right. So, anything else? All right. I think we've had 46 minutes and people have had twice the time to suggest more stuff to do. Uh, Sean was successful. Um, <laughs> I think we're good to go from here. Uh, in two weeks, we'll be back. We will continue this fun little process we started here um, after triaging. Um, any Wix 3 and start getting a grapple on what's in preview zero and where we're going from here. Um, 
and how far away we really are from making something available for the first time to people. So on that note, we'll be back in two weeks. That's July, July 8th, which I think is a normal kind of time. No holidays or anything around that. Um, is that? No. Wait. Yes? Yes. July 8th. Two weeks from today is July 8th. All right. Two weeks from today, July 8th. Same time, same place. We'll be back here. Uh, you guys have a good one until then, and we'll see you later. Bye. Bye. Bye.